Novel, powerful technological tools are changing the way we conduct forensics research, but we do have to be sure that the pros outweigh the cons. Here to discuss this year's annual meeting's theme, Technology, Transformation or Tyranny, is AAFS President Christopher Kip Thompson. Pleasure to have you with us today. It's great to be here. Certainly. All right, let's dive into this theme for this year's meeting. And, you know, these new technologies, they are evolving so rapidly. What is the hesitation or what are the dangers of adopting them too prematurely? I think there's probably three main buckets to think about. One is uh, problems with privacy of personal data. Mm -hmm. Two is um, the possibility that the information on which algorithms are based are flawed and therefore the conclusions are erroneous and that can lead to a whole host of bad outcomes. And then I think we don't know the impact on workforce and jobs. There are so many different types of emerging technologies within the field right now. What are some of the concerns that you have about some of the biggest emerging technologies? So I would say uh, artificial intelligence yeah. is obviously the big one that's on everyone's mind. What are the algorithms on which these uh, artificial intelligence platforms are based? Are they getting rolled out too quickly? Um, can authoritarian governments use them or bad actors use them in a way that um, is bad for society at large and bad for the world. Um, so I, I think those are bigger than forensic science, but subsume forensic science. And all of those are things that I have concerns about. You mentioned AI in particular. Obviously, that's the big one these days. Uh, but, you know, a lot of the AI creators say that there's a lot of good that can come from you know, AI and, and implementing that. On the flip side, do you see any positive impacts that some of these technologies could have when it comes to the forensic science field? Yeah, absolutely. I try not to be too doomsday uh, <laughs> about this, these types of things. And um, that's the meeting theme uh, talks about the uh, promise and the peril of new technologies. But obviously, um, increased efficiency, um, potentially increased accuracy, freeing up individuals to do higher order tasks mm -hmm. and less rote tasks. I think all those things are um, possible benefits to the technologies. To kind of take it back very old school, why is it important to continue to make sure that the scientific method is our guiding light when it comes to sifting through the research? Well, I think that that's really all we have. Uh, and it's been our best model for the last 350, 400 years. You, you know, you, you develop hypotheses, you test them, you refine them based on what what the uh, data tells you and the information tells you. I just don't have a whole heck of a lot of hope that uh, Silicon Valley is going to uh, have this measured approach to mm -hmm. the deployment, implementation and uh, deployment and development of these technologies. Um, the, the motto is move fast and break things, and that may not be the best thing for forensic science. And there's also uh, something of an arms race that seems to develop with different governments, mm -hmm. and so that I think compresses the timeline and moves it along when we should really be taking a more measured response and have a more coordinated response among all the countries in the world. Right. So final question before I let you go, to answer the question that our theme poses for this year's conference, technology, transformation, or tyranny, in your opinion? Uh, I, think, <laughs> I think it could go either way. And that's, that's really, I think, why the plenary session is going to be really important, because I think we tend to view ourselves as just at the whims of the tech giants and our tech overlords. And in reality, we can help control through different federal uh, government agencies, through the legislature, through the courts, how these technologies are deployed and used. And we have agency over this process. So I don't think we should feel helpless with that. Awesome, great answer. Thank you so much for your time today. Appreciate it. Great, it was great to be here. If you want more forensic science content, don't go anywhere. We've got interviews, highlights, and more from the 2025 AAFS meeting. Click here and get watching.